Hello, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Kobe extension setup families new feature. So before when you used to use the Kobe extension, you would set up a project and the parameters would be applied to the project as well as any uh, families that fall into those categories when you set up the project up here with that button. Here, we can actually now set up families. So what this means is that now we can add in those Kobe parameters, not in a project, but into our families. And this can be done with families that we have open or a library of families. So if I click on set up families, it takes me to a new dialog box. Here I can specify the type name builder where I can add in different fields. By default, it goes by Revit category, the family name, and then the type mark. If I want to change this, I could say I can add it in as manual, custom, type, or type description. Here I can add in custom. If I add in custom, then that means I can define the parameter that I want to fill in that last value. The thing to note about this is that the parameter needs to exist. So if I was to say add in subcategory, that subcategory parameter needs to exist inside the families when it's building this type name. Otherwise, the value is going to be blank. Over here, you can set up the category to be first priority, second priority, third, or if you want to use fourth priority. Here you can choose between Omniclass, Classification Manager for Revit, if you were to have that already uploaded or downloaded to your, uh, to your Revit, or you can use Revit Assembly Code if you want to. Down here you can set up the description to be family type if you want, or description parameter from type properties. If you're happy with this setup, you can go ahead and click on Next. Here it's going to update and fill in all the information to a selected number of families, either to the current family file open, which I have right now a door open, or I can see configure and update all family files in the following folders and subfolders. Here I can choose to either set up as blank or skip these parameters, or I can update all these parameters. Of course, I could say set blank for all, set all for all, set skip for all. Here, I'm just going to update the current family file only. I'm going to go ahead and say update and close. And after a few brief moments, all my families were successfully updated. So if I was to come up here to create, Go to my file types window. I will now see all of my Kobe parameters set with my default parameters already filled out. Now again, something to note here that the type name is actually missing part of that information. It's because I was looking for subcategory and I don't have subcategory filled in. So instead of that, we can actually add in assembly code. So let's say that I want to add in assembly code to the Kobe top dot type dot name. I can come right back up here to BIM interoperability tools, come up here to set up families. And here, instead of type mark, I can go ahead and say custom. I could say assembly code. Hit next. Update the current family. Click on OK. Come back to my type file types. In here, it fills in that information for me. And again, if I want to set up families from a file folder, I can just say configure and update all family files and I come over here and browse for those families. Something to note is that it's going to do all the families in those folders and if you want to, it will ask you if you want to do the subfolders as well.